But now, a little movie news about something that happened last Thursday. What happened was that the Museum of the Moving Image on London's South Bank reached its fifth birthday and very naturally through a party. Mommy essentially is a permanent celebration of the movies and TV and in the last five years some two and a half million people have visited it. Now, what further excuse do you need to throw a party? Listen, you, you were in on this from the very beginning at Mommy. Yeah. How, did, how did it come about? Why did it come about? Well, it's a brainchild of Leslie Hardcastle, really. Leslie Hardcastle and David Francis and David Robinson. The, the idea that there ought to be somewhere in the art form of this century where people can go and really see how it was created, what its potential is, what it means, etc. And here we are, five years later, yeah. fifth birthday party. Yeah. What exactly are you going to be doing here today? There is a rumour going around that you're going onto that Western set to do some directing. Keep well, handling. <laughs> Keep handling. Yeah. I don't know about directing a Western, Barry, but I gather I am to go and do some directing, yes, and you're not to come. No, no. <laughs> What you get at Mommy is a lively survey of the cinema from the beginnings to the present day. Camera rolling! Sound running! Markets! Scene 28, take one. Action! And here indeed we find Lord Dickey directing a group of visitors in a western gunfight. Lady! This world ain't big enough for you and me both. Cut, print, and applause! <laughs> Along with everything else, there are mock-ups of old cinemas and guides to show you around. We are promoting the latest film from America, Intolerance, a three-hour epic made by Mr. D.W. Griffith. So please, sir, perambulate into my establishment and I shall entertain you with the delights of the moving image. The model of King Kong you see behind me, I, I made some years ago for Mommy, especially, because King Kong was always very close to my heart. I think it's the most wonderful museum that's ever been created for television and films. I only wish that 40 years ago Hollywood had the intelligence and the money and facilities to produce a museum like this. Any visitor not obeying my instructions will be exterminated. Look, I have to pay a licence fee to BBC, right? I've been paying it for years, though, haven't I? Ever since television was invented, right? But all they seem to be putting out these days is repeats. Excuse me. Hello? Anyone? <sighs> Real telly addicts, these, you can't get a word out of them. But what beats me is, why aren't they watching the big screen? I mean, Huey Green was never that riveting. Happy birthday indeed. What a pity every major centre in the country can't have a mommy of its own. Still there is a next best thing and that's a projected national tour of London's mommy to take place in 1995, the year of the cinema's centenary.